What's up everybody? Welcome to today's COD History Top 10 and it is powered by Cove's Commuter Wireless Bluetooth Speaker. And there's a link in the description right now where you guys can get 65% off of this with the promo code CHAOS. Having a wireless Bluetooth speaker is a huge convenience. This thing connects to smartphones, tablets, computers, everything via Bluetooth 4.1. It has over an eight hour battery life. You can literally set it down and go about your business. It's got an X-Base subwoofer for that sound quality and one of the main complaints about, well, one of my main complaints about wireless Bluetooth speakers is if you get too far away, they disconnect. This thing will go with a range up to 30 feet with no disconnect, so you don't have to just be hovering right over it. And finally, guys, it doubles as a speakerphone for incoming calls. It literally does everything. Like I said, check the link in the description. Use promo code CHAOS. Get yourself 65% off. Tweet at me if you use it. Let me know in the comments if you use it. And now let's get into the video. Kill streaks in Call of Duty are supposed to be this big awesome thing that rewards the good players and makes the lesser players strive to be better so they can experience him. But with all the kill streaks available in COD history, obviously not all of them are going to be that great to call in. What is up, everybody? Chaos here, and welcome to the COD History series. And today we're going to go over my personal picks for the 10 worst kill streak rewards in Call of Duty history. Be sure to let me know what is your least favorite kill streak hands down in the comment section. And if you want, you can let me know your favorite kill streak as well. Let's get into it. This month's giveaway is for a new PlayStation 4 console. All you have to do to enter is drop a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. And in the comment section, let me know why you want to win the PS4 and include your Twitter handle so I can contact you if you're the winner. The winner will be announced at the end of the month. Kicking off the list for me at number 10 is the strafe run in Modern Warfare 3. Perhaps one of the most visually intimidating streaks in COD history, but really all it was good for was to look cool for a couple of seconds. The strafe run was a nine point streak that called in five helicopters to sweep through the map and shoot everybody they see, right? Sounds cool, but when you get into the details, well, it kind of falls apart. First of all, the strafe run moves extremely slow and you can see it coming from a mile away. So you can just take cover and avoid it completely. Plus, they don't have any flares to protect themselves and they're so small that a single rocket can destroy more than one of them at a time if you hit them at the right angle. The strafe run was definitely cool, but for a nine point streak, it should have done way more. You rarely got more than one kill with this streak. At number nine, we have the Valkyrie Rockets in Black Ops, another streak that was pretty cool in concept, but it fell apart in execution. First seven kills, you could get a new sidearm called the Valkyrie, which was a massive rocket launcher where you would manually control your rockets while leaving your body behind. Sounds cool, right? Well, that is until you discover that you only get two rockets and they're extremely awkward to control. They move slowly, they can be shot down by enemies, and they have an extremely long three second reload time. When compared to other mid-tier killstreaks in Black Ops, the Valkyrie rockets weren't worth it. And that is probably why they were one of the most underused killstreaks in that game. At number eight, does anybody remember the directional airstrike from Modern Warfare 3? Now this one's pretty interesting. The airstrike has been in every Modern Warfare game in one way or another. In COD 4, it was simply called the airstrike. In Modern Warfare 2, it was slightly changed to the directional airstrike. And then in Modern Warfare 3, the Modern Warfare 2 version was copy pasted over. However, something happened in between MW2 and 3 because the directional airstrike in Modern Warfare 3, it blows. It functions identically to the Modern Warfare 2 version, but there's some differences in the games themselves. This kill streak way less effective. First of all, the map design of Modern Warfare 3 is much more spread out with less choke points, meaning it was hard to drop a rocket on a certain area and get four to five kills like you could in MW2. Plus, the perk system in Modern Warfare 3 was reworked, so much, much more. I mean, there was many more people that were running Blast Shield, making them harder to kill with an airstrike. So while the streak itself didn't really change from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3, the differences in the gameplay made this streak much, much worse than before. At number seven, the Juggy Recon in Modern Warfare 3, the Juggernaut Recon. Now, many people forget that there were two kinds of juggernauts in Modern Warfare 3, and one of them was freaking terrible. This was a juggernaut for the assault strike package and a different one for the support strike package, and the support version was called the Juggernaut Recon, and it was, it was crap. When you called it in, you would transform into the juggernaut, but instead of having good weapons like the assault version did, you spawned in with a freaking USP-45 pistol, a riot shield, 
in a smoke grenade. Sure, you had increased health and a portable radar attached to you, but what was the point when you basically had no firepower? I know, I know, people are gonna argue and say the point is recon, Jimmy. If enemy players ganged up on you from a distance, there was absolutely nothing you could do about it with this. So I guess maybe this was like a sacrificial lamb type deal. I don't know, but it wasn't very good. At number six, we're gonna go with the care package in Black Ops. Now, the care package has been part of almost every Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 2, but one thing that people forget about this fan favorite streak is that the Black Ops version wasn't very good. The whole appeal of the care package is that it's a cheap streak that gives you a chance of getting a high reward. However, the Black Ops version of the care package not only had much worse odds of getting higher streaks, but it also had a pretty good chance of just giving you ammo instead of a kill streak. That's right. Ammo, there's nothing more frustrating in Black Ops 1 than earning your care package. Call it in, defend the area, and just when you're ready to get something cool, you get a few extra mags of ammo for all your hard work instead of something cool. Now, I will say, though, the care package did, I believe, have the Grim Reaper and the Death Machine, so those were, those were bonuses. Cracking into the top five, and this one makes absolutely no sense. The Night Owl in Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean, I guess you could argue it was an interesting idea for a kill streak that, that backfired. I don't know. The Night Owl was a 10-point support streak that essentially served as a mobile trophy system as it flew around behind you and destroyed incoming equipment. Sounds cool, and I mean, it sounds cool in theory. While it was definitely helpful for countering grenade spam, it also ended up being this giant target beacon on you that your enemies could see hovering from a mile away, at which point they would just start sniping at you or camp in a corner and wait for you to come to them. If the Night Owl flew a little closer to the ground, or maybe if it was cloaked and couldn't be seen by the enemies, it would have been a very formidable streak. Unfortunately, the way it was designed just made it more of a liability than a tool in the battlefield. Hey, I'm going to call in this 10-point streak, and I'm going to put a big light bulb above my head for everybody to see me. At number four, and you knew it was going to be on here somewhere, the SATCOM and Ghost, ah yes, the infamous UAV box. These streaks and ghosts instantly became a meme when the game came out. Instead of using standard UAVs like other COD games, Infinity Ward wanted to make Ghost a little more team-oriented, and they replaced the traditional UAV with a SATCOM, a little box that you dropped on the map, and it served as a mini UAV until you stacked it with other teammates. It was, it was okay, I guess, for an idea, but it was counterproductive. How often would you ever actually get the full effect of a full UAV with these things? And this is Call of Duty. Nobody's actually going to be communicating with their teammates in order to stack UAV boxes. And on top of that, it was you could see it from a mile away and people would just shoot it and it would be done. Thank goodness this never came back in any other Call of Duty games. At number three, and Ghost really had some crappy kill streaks. now that we're looking at it. The Maws. <laughs> the Maws is one that I just don't get, to be honest. It was a support streak that would allow you to pull out this big rocket launcher that could pretty easily take down enemy kill streaks and do a decent amount of damage to enemy players. But it really didn't have much ammo. And to be honest, it, was, it wasn't really effective. It wasn't effective like other launchers that you could have in your class already by default. So what was the point of actually running it? Why wouldn't you just use that slot in your kill streak rewards for something better? It's one thing to have a super powerful explosive launcher like the Grim Reaper or the War Machine. I mean, those could be kill streak rewards, but it doesn't make any sense to have a launcher that's pretty much on equal footing as other non kill streak launchers in the game already. But then again, there was a lot of stuff with Call of Duty Ghosts that didn't really, uh, well, didn't really make sense. At number two, I'm going to go with the Remote Sentry in Modern Warfare 3. Now, a lot of Call of Duty games have had sentry turrets, but the reason why people like the sentries in other COD games is because they do the work on their own without needing the player's input. But that wasn't the case with the remote sentry in Modern Warfare 3. This streak was a 12-point reward in the support category, and it was deployable as a sentry gun, but it had to manually be controlled by you, which would leave you totally vulnerable to enemies. Plus, the remote sentry had a noticeably slower fire rate than the other sentry guns in COD history, making it even more useless. That's right. When you get a sentry gun, you want to be able to put it somewhere and then run off in a different direction so you can cover multiple areas at once. But you do not want to set the turret down and then be stuck with it just covering that one area while an enemy just beats your body up over and over again while you're trying to control this thing. This thing was such a bad idea. And finally, at number one, I, there was a lot of kill streaks I wanted to put on here. I'm going with the support squad mate in Ghost. This may be the most underwhelming streak ever. Now, the support squad mate was a dude with a shield. That's it, a dude with a shield. He didn't do anything special. 
He wasn't very smart, and he really didn't even cover that much ground. It was literally just an AI dude with a shield that roamed aimlessly around the battlefield until somebody killed him. Now, I do understand the appeal, okay? A lot of people love the riot shield and COD, but the big price of using it is the fact you can't shoot while you're at it. Well, you can now, but if you use the support squad bait, it would essentially allow you to shoot and use a riot shield at the same time, right? Sounds awesome, right? And it probably would have been epic if it was programmed a little better and maybe thought out a little more during development, but as is, it was literally useless. I would rather have Riley all day long. And there you go, guys. Those are my picks for the worst kill streaks in COD history. And that's a hard list to do, my friends, because there's a lot of bad kill streaks out there. Let me know one that didn't make this list that I totally forgot about that should have made it. Drop a like if you guys never missed this series. Check out the playlist below if you want to check all the other videos out. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you soon.